Gonna have me a little fun here. Oh. oh my god, you have to be fucking. Decided what gravel you want, you just got regular gravel because you're gonna do either just a community tank with fake stuff in there or no decorations or a cichlid tank or whatever it might be. So you got your gravel and you got your tank all set up. Alright? Next thing you're gonna do is add water. Okay? So you add your water. Boop. Here we go, a little squirt. Oops. Water's in. Next thing you're gonna do is okay whenever you get your filters you're always going to want to rinse them underwater almost no matter even if they're an under gravel I, I'm not, I don't even call these filters you guys know how I feel about these uh, these under gravels anything that you're going to put in there you still want to wash off with water just to get any dust or what have you uh, so after it's filled with water you're going to put your filter in filters in Next thing you're going to do is plug in all your filters, plug everything in and get it to start running. And while it's starting up, and now some filters you're going to have to prime too. You know, like canisters, you'll usually have the little levers or what have you to uh, prime them. And uh, hang on back filters, you probably got to fill the back with water. You know, just take a cup and just fill up the back from the tank. Anyway, so then you're going to want to add your prime or whatever water conditioner. Uh, a lot of people use stuff like, uh, I think it's called Stability or Start Right. There's a, there's a few different uh, product names, but the, I guess it's supposed to be Bacteria Startup. It's supposed to help you colonize your bacteria first. Um, I've tried some of those products. Uh, I don't really care for any of them. Uh, probably the best one I've used, I think it was Seachem Stability. And it's still like, uh, I don't really care for them. It kind of, it almost seems like... Even if it does work, the bacteria colony it grows is like just like weaker. It's just not right. Or I, I don't know. I'm obviously not looking at the bacteria through a microscope or have any scientific tools for this. But just from you know my intuition and my conjecture and results, I just kind of uh, I just really don't see much from it. And in fact, I had a friend that overdid it with some of the stuff. He he started up his first I think it was a 29 gallon. And he basically had to redo his tank. Like the bio, I don't know what exactly happened, but his biological filtration got so out of whack. I mean, his tank was doing all sorts of wacky things. The water parameters were going nuts. But anyway, so I don't believe in that stuff. So usually, what, what after you added your water conditioner and your filters are running and whatnot, let me put this on just to <laughs> signify it running. All right. So your stuff's running. And basically, you're, you're going to want to let it run for at least two days, just empty tank, you know, maybe put your decorations in. Now on day two, if you are going to do a planted tank, maybe day two, start putting plants in. Then after you put plants in, wait a day, all right? And then so maybe on the third or the fourth day, you can finally start putting fish in. Now, almost no matter what tank size you have or what fish you're getting, I don't suggest getting more than one or two fish. Like if it's like a 10 gallon, maybe like two small tetras or something. Even a 29 gallon, I might only add like two small tetras or two medium sized fish. And by medium size, I still mean like three inch at max fish. Uh, you know, not really talking cichlids. And then you want to add fish slowly. I never add more than two fish at a time, almost no matter what size the tank is. All right, because when you add fish, Obviously, you need more biological filtration, and you know you got to give it time to catch up. Because if you just add them all in, your biological filtration is going to get overloaded, and uh, basically, what's going to happen is your fish are just going to die, and your water's going to get all nasty. So you don't want to do that. You want to do it slowly. Plus, remember you're going to be feeding your fish more, and as food deteriorates, I'm sure everybody it's better to overfeed just a tidbit then have your fish starve just a little bit. Because that's usually what I do is just a little, little bit. There might be like one little tiny granule that doesn't get eaten. That's not a big deal, assuming you're running the right filtration and you're not overloading your tank. All right? So, 
of, of course, and of course, especially when your tank's starting out, you're not going to be exactly sure how much is too much. It's going to take you a while to adjust how much you need to feed your fish. So again, this is why I stress add fish very slowly. And I have a video on how to add fish. It was one of my older videos, like the power filter suggestions, uh, on how to add fish to your aquarium. So anyways, and that's pretty much how you get your aquarium started. Uh, and like I said, plants and decorations go in like day two and then maybe start adding fish day three. But then after that, even even when you're going to add fish, I would wait at least a, for after the first two fish you add, I would wait two weeks to, before you added the next pair or you know single fish. And then after that, you might be able to go every week, but I'd still go every other week. Uh, it's up to you depending on uh, until you get it full. And remember that inch per fish rule is bullshit because it depends on what kind of fish you get. For instance, like cichlids and uh, placosmus are really dirty fish. Uh, and also, you know, that, when they talk, say inch per fish, you gotta remember, this is, we're living in a three-dimensional three world, okay? They're talking about just one dimension. They're just talking about length. They're forgetting the width and the height. So obviously, that's not a, uh, that's not a very good rule or universal rule. I mean, it does work with like some of the smaller fish like tetras, uh, more specifically, uh, maybe it's like some barbs and stuff, but other than that, that's not gonna, that rule doesn't, not gonna do you much good. All right, so hopefully that helps. This is just like a general, trying to help you set up your tank for the first time video. Uh, I, I know my, uh, my illustrations here might have been somewhat subpar, but you know, I tried. I'm just trying to uh, help beginners out, and hopefully this, this makes it clear. Uh, it's not as hard as you might think it is, all right? So if you have any questions, let me know. Please PM me. I don't really keep track of comments that well, and not to mention it doesn't tell me all the time when I have comments. Uh, and I hate making a mess out of it, and I can only type a certain amount. So PM me if you have questions. Let me stress that again. PM me, okay? All right. Thanks for tuning in.